Hello everybody. Today we're talking about the highly expected Season 4 finale of Yellowstone Season 4. This Sunday will be the most epic Sunday of the new year, despite being the first one, and yes, we're pretty certain about it. There is no way any other they can overshadow a Yellowstone Season finale, as the series is known for its major plot twists and cliffhangers that shock people. This season was particularly good so far. We can even claim that it was the best season of Yellowstone, as all of its episodes were feeling like a Hollywood film thanks to not only their cinematographic quality, but also their plot that engages the audience immediately. To be honest, as the fans, we knew that Yellowstone wouldn't disappoint us. However, we couldn't expect the season to be this good. Since the season 3 finale was epic, we thought season 4 would struggle to outrun it. And yet, we were wrong. Yes, the season 3 finale was unparalleled by season 4 started just as strong, if not better. Naturally, the season premiere attracted millions, 10.5 million to be precise, which is a record-breaking number. We're not surprised to see so many people tune in to explore what will happen next in Yellowstone, as the series is the best in making us wonder about its plot. We care about the Yellowstone characters, their lives, and their struggles as they feel like not fictional characters, but real people. Sometimes, we feel like we're friends with them, which is a very rare feeling when it comes to TV shows, especially the Western ones since most of them have over-the-top characters that are too much to be real. This season contributed to the real-like feeling of Yellowstone, as the show emphasized each character's arc. Even the side characters got enough screen time and now, we feel like we know them. In the season finale, we expect all these characters whom we see as our prestige to come across with difficult choices that will make us feel highly worried about them. The promo of the Yellowstone Season 4 starts with John expressing, Long fight starts now. We feel like he is referring to his fight against Garrett, as the two came across for the first time in decades last week, and it wasn't a pleasant moment for neither of them. Garrett has some personal grudge against John, not only for having Jamie but also for seeing him as the reason why he is imprisoned. This is a highly delusional perspective, of course, since Garrett killed his wife and nothing can justify such an act, which is what John openly expressed to him. Garrett didn't seem like he understood John, though, as he still feels like he was wrong. We expect the two to get a meeting once again in the season finale. However, this time it's likely for the meeting to go violent since John will probably figure out Garrett's involvement in the attacks against his family and will punish him for it. We also expect John to face Garrett for manipulating Jamie against his family. Now that we mentioned Jamie, John has a very touching scene in the promo of the season finale. As he says, I raised him, and I love him as much as I try not to. He is referring to Jamie as his son in this scene. Now, there is a lot to unpack here. Previously, we watched John moving from being neutral, but also resentful towards Jamie to outright rivaling him in the governorship race. Something has changed within John against Jamie. We have always suspected that this radical shift was the result of too much love on John's side. Since he was valuing his son so much, he couldn't believe Jamie didn't even visit him in the hospital and chose Garrett over him. In time, this resentment turned into a wave of anger, causing him to prevent Jamie from having a flourishing career just to punish him. On Jamie's end, we know that he still feels like a Dutton so much so that he was ready to arrest his biological father for attacking his family. That being said, he also feels highly unloved, causing him to question his feelings towards John. He was confused, but also very happy when he saw John during the press conference, as he assumed his father was there to support him. Naturally, he felt extremely betrayed when he realized John was rivaling him. So, it's clear that the father and son are suffering heavily from miscommunication. Both love and care about each other, but are too proud to admit it, causing them to trust the wrong people. In the season finale, we hope to see a heartfelt dialogue between John and Jamie, in which they speak openly. Since John recently got into a disagreement with Beth, it's likely for him to be more welcoming toward Jamie. Similarly, Jamie is forced to stay away from Garrett since his identity as an old convict would be harmful to Jamie's candidacy for governorship. That's to say, the circumstances are suitable for the two to finally overcome their misunderstandings and reconcile. Of course, such a move would lead not only Garrett, but only Beth to get their war paints and do their best to prevent Jamie and John from allying. And we don't doubt that one of them will come out defeated after this fight. What are your expectations from Yellowstone Season 4 finale? Do you think Beth would go as far as to fight against John? Do you think John would reconcile with Jamie? What about Garrett? 
what kind of manipulations he can come up with so that Jamie wouldn't turn his back to him. Do you see a happy future for John and Jamie? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.